All right, Kid Rock, he's known for his music, his outspoken political views, his outspoken views on everything. He's absolutely fearless when it comes to woke cancel culture. He calls himself uncancelable. Kid Rock recently announced that he's going to be partnering with country music superstar Jason Aldean for their Rock the Country tour, headlining seven small town festivals. Huh, I wonder if that name is on purpose. Uh, and of course, in the spring and summer of 2024, in a release, Kid Rock said, the tour is for everyone who makes this country run and loves America. Nobody knows how to party like a small town America, American. Kid Rock is also hosting the Rock and Roll Rodeo in Texas this coming May. He joins us with more. Hey, Dawn, great to see you. I, 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 you hurt your wrist. I didn't realize yeah, that was yeah. a wrist thing, man. Um, first, let me get to this issue. You are uncancelable. You don't give a flying rip, and you're... And we say it a little different than rip, but that is correct. Well, I mean, it, I can't say it. I mean, I just I say it differently. I call it Adam Schiff. I call, you know, you don't give a shit. I'm just not in bed with any corporate entities, you know, where, where, where that would put me in a position where people could raise a stink. And I decided years ago, you know, I've been very blessed. You know, I've worked hard and still be able to do this at a high level in 25 years. And I, I decided when I was going to get, you know, vocal about all things, like, it's not a time I have never been vocal. I came out with middle fingers on my first CD, you know, with my mouth <laughs> just going like this. And, uh, and I really haven't changed. The times have. Right. But I decided when I was really going to get vocal, surely for my love of this country and, and, you know, use my voice to, you know, speak on things that mean a lot to me, that there wasn't going to be any corporate deals. And I'm fine with that because, you know, I've always tried to live that there's no dollar amount on this God's green earth that would get me to... You know, not be able to be who I am. But I think people love you more because of it. I hope so. so. All right. So, <laughs> I turned so, down a lot of money for it. <laughs> uh, we, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Dana White. I saw you with President Trump and Dana and, and Tucker, and you guys all went to the uh, M MMA, what was it, the Garden? I think, UFC, right? yeah. The UFC. Garden. All right. So he was on this show. I saw. And it was about Bud Light. He took, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he, took, he took on as a sponsor. Now, I'll tell you why I've never in my whole life ever supported a boycott. I've never called for a firing or a cancellation ever. I mean, even people that I can't stand, like Bill. By Bob. the way, I didn't either. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so the, what I worried about in that case was the guys that have the, the yeah, beer Working class people. Right, the guys that work in the factory, the guys that load yeah. the trucks, they're not the guys that made that stupid, you know... Oh, they had no dog in this fight at all. It's right. actually funny. Speaking of that UFC fight, I'm standing there with our favorite president. Right. And someone comes over to, like, the CEO of Anheuser-Busch standing right behind you. Right. So I go to the POTUS, I'm like, hey, that's the CEO of Anheuser-Busch. Trump's like, you want to go talk to him? I'm like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so me and him go over. We actually had a great conversation. Really? Because, you know, if you put this in context, why, does, why did this start? It's like, you know, I told him that night, I go, you signaled to a lot of people like myself, like-minded people. Put the trans thing aside for a minute, right? I was like, but by sending that can to the trans kid, you kind of signaled to us, <clears throat> you support this lifestyle, and more importantly, like men being in women's sports or in my granddaughter's locker room. Most of us draw a hard line right there. Nah, 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 nah. nah. What, like, what are you, you have doing? A granddaughter. You, you're like yeah, 40, two grandkids. You're like 42 years old. Well, go it ahead. Get, it gets cold in Detroit, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> so I said, you signaled that to us. I said, but speaking of, I was like, I was like, you know, if someone wants to be trans, I was like, I didn't rip that kid. I said, F you guys. I said, I didn't even say boycott or cancel. I said, F you. I said, what are you doing? Injecting yourself into this conversation, these polarizing social issues. I was like, you know, you could be doing so much more positive stuff, just making us laugh and drink beer. But I said, I said, someone wants to dress up like a girl, they want to be transgender or whatever. A lot of people fought and died for them to do that. Go for it. We can coexist, you know, in public places. You might not be my first dinner invite, you know what I mean? And I'm probably not yours. And if you're gay, no one cares anymore, right? We all got gay family members, gay friends, great co gay co-workers. It's like, cut it out. Just be gay. You know, How about, I'm not going to clap you know what I hear for you. You know what I hear from you saying? You believe in freedom. Yeah. But if you want to indoctrinate kids in school... That's what, that's what I, I tell my... I, 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 let, me, let me say this to the trans and gay community right now. Be yourself. That's, you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. That's what most people are. But as soon as you bring our kids into this, that's where you're going to bring hatred into it. Leave our freaking kids out of it. That's, that's the bottom how line. How about parents instill the values in their own kids? Yeah. That's it. Pretty simple. I mean, 
All right, happened, Kyle? I want to get back into the Bud thing a little bit. I want to one specific question. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great to see you. Uh, thanks for coming. More Kid Rock as we continue. We're in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. By the way, they have no state income tax here. I am an <laughs> idiot for Zero. not living here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.